my friends and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and today I'm very excited to share with you Mother of Frankenstein. This is a game that was sponsored by Hatch Escapes and Prodigals. I want to thank them for sending me this game to preview for you. And a little bit about this game, it is a tabletop puzzle immersive game that has letters and a rich theme that will just deep dive you into this world of this mother of Frankenstein. Now this is volume one of a three part volume series that will be on Kickstarter. So be on the lookout for that. I will be including that link down in the description for you. But without further ado, let's get started. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Alright, so when you first open this game, which by the way, I did an unboxing, I will link that up there for you, but obviously as this is a prototype, some of the components are subject to change, and this prototype that I have here in front of me was all made, handmade in-house, which is amazing. Some of these components are just so cool that I can't wait to share some of these with you. I am trying to be as spoiler free as possible with this review, so Though the puzzle here is completed for you, which, you know, most puzzles usually have an image that you can see when you get a puzzle. So, you know, you can use this if you want to or not. Um, the rings here have been moved to not be in the correct order for you so that you can't actually use any of this information. But this is the first thing that you get, which this is a brochure. So you have a brochure and then you have a little, you have a letter that has ribbon around it. And then you also have a introduction to the game that will kind of tell you what you're supposed to be doing as this is a game that a lot of people especially since this is going to be your first time playing this game don't really know where to go from opening the box I'm gonna help kind of explain to you how I went about it what ways were easier for me how I felt about it things like that maybe that will help you if you do back this game and you open it and you decide you want to play it because I know if I had something like this it would have been a little helpful but I do want to give a huge kudos to them, Hatch Escapes and Prodigal, for having such an amazing website that helped me so much when I got stuck or I didn't know where to go from there. There is a great website that has like a Q&A type of thing that will help you with that if you want it or if you need it. So that is great. But the brochure itself has some great information in there. You'll be reading this all, so I won't actually read it for you, but as you can tell just from the images and from the way that this is made, and like I said, this was a handmade prototype, so this is amazing. The images are amazing, and it really starts giving you a little bit of background and kind of understanding where the story is kind of taking place with this family. Um, as you go into the game, you start receiving these letters, and I'll show you some of these letters here. They're all in cursive and they have sometimes drawings on the bottom. And these are correspondence that you're gonna be reading and going through for each of these different scenarios. And it really brings you into this world of who is this person, who is Mary Godwin, who is Percy, what are we doing here kind of thing. But when you start this game, you get a bunch of rings and you get a puzzle. and you might be thinking, hey, I should start doing the puzzle first or I should start doing the rings. I would recommend that you start with the different envelopes that you get. You can actually start with any one of these, but I'm gonna go through one of these each at a time. So astronomy is just like it says, is about astronomy. So again, letters that you have in each envelope and then you have different stuff that will go into, you know, the planets and things like that and uh, how you're going to solve this puzzle that you get in the game. Each different version will have different advantages, different challenges, different things. And the great thing about this game is it's meant to be broken up into multiple scenarios, different play sessions between you and your gaming group or you and whoever, because technically you don't have to be there for the first 
package to actually understand the second or the third in this game. It does help when you're kind of finishing it all up to put it together to have everything done, but it's not like a requirement. You don't have to have the same amount of people. I played this at a two player, not at the minimum player account, which is one. I don't know if I could personally solve this with just myself. It is pretty difficult, I think, for somebody like me who doesn't really do a lot of puzzles. But if that is your thing, you could probably do this by yourself, no problem. Especially again, with those clues that you get up on the website. It's just so helpful for you as a gamer, if you like that type of thing. Or I'm thinking about playing this again with a larger group and kind of seeing how that would work with a larger group because reading these letters and getting immersed in this theme and really just feeling this environment is just so cool of how they do that in this game. It just really takes you in. But astronomy is about getting, you know, planets and you're trying to do different kind of alignments and this one's more about you know, being very precise. So you have to be precise in the astronomy. So the astronomy, you have to be a little bit more precise. Music, which is the next ring, which is the red ring, I say, is more about knowing your music notes and really paying attention. If you are a music major, or maybe you know more about music, this might be easy for you because it is, music, right? Just like as it says. Each one of these is so different in the way that it plays. There is a part of this in the music section that has like a Sudoku version, which I love Sudoku and I haven't played it in such a long time. This actually made me want to play Sudoku after this because it's just like so cool that it actually put this different aspect into this game of trying to solve the music portion of this. But I absolutely love the music because of how beautiful it actually looked too on the music sheet and how they did everything with talking about music and talking about Bach and Mozart and talking about likes and dislikes and things like that, which you will read in the letters once you get this. And then we move on to poetry. So my boyfriend really enjoyed the astronomy and I really enjoyed the poetry because I love poetry. I think that it's so elegant and just so refined. It can take you into a different world and letters that come with it again. And then they have these little pamphlets that you get in your poetry that will give you more poems. And it's just so cool. The experience is just one of a kind, something that I haven't experienced before. I have played other escape games, things like that, but I think it's so clever on the way that they find a puzzle with all these different little puzzles and different envelopes that you use to open and really expand this universe. And then at the end, it's all about putting it together. And the fact that you can really play with somebody who's never played games like this before, or you can play with somebody who's like an expert at these games and really knows what they're doing because of how helpful the website is and because of how the game actually is. And this really just does a really great job of immersing you into this world. And for me, like 18th century, like older versions, I love that. I just, I'm obsessed with that time period. Don't really know why, but I think it's just gorgeous and elegant and I love the letters. Like some of the letters look like they have like tears on them. Some of them look like, you know, they were really trying to get the letter right. Just like if you were writing your own letter yourself of really trying to you know, get everything, your thoughts down, things like that. It's just so beautiful and just so genius. So all in all, I love this game. I'm so excited for the second and the third version of this to actually see more. I'm actually excited to see where this goes because I know this is supposed to be like a whole continuous story. Are we gonna continue with the same people? Are we gonna, you know, change it up? What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? Who are we gonna meet? Or are we gonna go back type of thing? It's just super exciting for me. 
But I hope you enjoyed this preview video. I know I didn't really go through the gameplay of how you actually play this, but because it is an escape room type of thing, you're gonna be learning and going through this on your own. But after you're done with all three of these, I recommend that you start the puzzle. The puzzle isn't necessary until the end of the game. So when you start bringing it all together, if you just wanted to play one of these with a group, you could do that without bringing all the rest of it. Just make sure whatever color you're bringing, you're bringing the pieces that correspond to it that in color wise. But besides that, it's not really necessary. I would show you the back of these as well, but they've got my answers from me playing it, so you're not gonna see those. So you have to play it yourself to figure it out. But thank you so much for joining me for this preview. I hope so much that you will enjoy this game as much as I did, and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later, guys.